Hi, I'm Matt Arndt. Hi, I'm Bart Taylor. Welcome to another DIY video. Today we'll be showing you the basics of replacing a faucet inside your RV. Whether you are looking to upgrade or just simply replace these items, you are in the right place. The plumbing in your Keystone RV is similar to what you would find in your home. So whether you buy a direct replacement part or buy something locally, the installation should be similar. Let's talk space requirements. Believe me, many jokes have spawned from watching the co-workers, family, and friends try to navigate a less than ideal space to work in. After you've purchased a replacement faucet that will fit the countertop opening, let's go ahead and get started changing out the old faucet. Some supplies we will be using today is a pair of channel lock pliers, shop towels, a washer if needed, a basin wrench, and the replacement faucet that we got for our RV. This is important. Start by turning off the water supply hose or shutting off the water pump. You only need to make that mistake once. Now let's release the pressure in the water lines by opening the hot and cold water faucets so there's no more water coming out of them. Next, let's lay down a few shop towels on the floor under the faucet area to capture any residual water that will spill out while we are installing the new faucet. Now let's loosen the supply lines. These should be hand tied as we use hose washers for a leak free fit. If they are snug, you may loosen them with channel lock pliers. If you do need to use a basin wrench, we have one here. I'll demonstrate how to use it so that you can use one on your application. The head of the basin wrench is typically swiveled so that you can do, hook this around your, your water line connection, whether you're going right or left, you would just flip the head for the direction you're using it. And I'll attach this to the uh, water line now so you can see what that would look like. After removing the hot and cold water supply lines, you will loosen the faucet retaining nuts attached to the base of the faucet under the countertop. If they're snug, it may be necessary to use a basin wrench or channel lock pliers to loosen. After the faucet is removed, clean up the countertop of any debris and install the new faucet and hardware per your package's directions. Okay, we're going to install the new faucet. I'm gonna open the new rings that came with it. And we're going to feed the sprayer hose through. that on and then we'll attach the lock washers and one for this side okay next on this faucet I'm going to attach this hose to the faucet with a quick connect coupler and that just clicks right into place okay next we're going to attach the faucet sprayer head on to the end. This is a thread on head, so we'll thread that on. There we go. Okay, we have that attached. Yeah, there we are. Very nice. Okay, now that we have our faucet assembled, we'll go ahead and reattach our water lines. After the new faucet is in place, it's time to test for leaks before using. Turn the water supply back on and check connections under the sink for any leaks. If all's good, run water through the hot and cold sides and recheck. You're all set. You have changed your faucet and saved time and money. Well done. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more RV Pro tips or visit KeystoneRV.com to see all of our how-to content. And thanks for watching.
Yeah, something. Oh.